WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the uh, Tiger Technicians Hours noon update for TFNN. So uh, we're looking at it down minus 136 at 26,786. <clears throat> Taking two days to digest those big gains, big spike last week. And 26,966 is the leg to overcome. So that we can go to 26,967 for a leg. D doesn't have to do that. Chapman wave methodology, we could, get, we could get close to it, but you can't. Um, it would be unusual all time high to go from a peak C and have a big decline. So I am anticipating just a fractional new, something will happen that'll make one little pop to the upside. But this is what I said earlier last week. This is a period where I'm anticipating some kind of a consolidation after a really spectacular run from the June 3rd low of uh, 24,701. Uh, all the way to 20, almost 27,000. Uh, that's a pretty big move. So we can expect some digestive formation. What I am looking at here is in all the charts, the weekly chart is really important because we have seen with two peaks to the upside like this that it starts to fail if, in any case, um, I can give you a number here. If there is a close below 26,600, uh, about another almost 300 points below this, this week, That'll be a negative and say, OK, be careful. We've actually started a deeper uh, transition from the up mode to sideways to down. Let's go to the S&P. S&P is also down. It is down uh, 16 at uh, this time last week on Friday. Remember, I said, oh, the S&P is down 16. Then it came back quite nicely by the end of the day. But here we are back in, down 16 at 29.74. This is a peak D. And that's been the reason why I said last week, we're really close to a consolidation is in the Chapman Wave methodology at a D or a C or a D or an E, we start to look for some kind of a consolidation. The Qs are also a little bit lower. The Qs are down 1.85 and 189.20, the index 100. Gold is holding very nicely. Uh, gold is down three. It had a very nice pop to the upside, but it is within uh, this rectangle formation. And I'm looking at this thinking the 12. Let me give you a number right now. The 1380 level has to be key support that holds this week, and there should be strong resistance in the 1415 area. And the dollar right now, the dollar is actually up very nicely. It's up eight ticks at 97.36. It's holding very well. I'll be back. I'll talk more about it in my Tiger Technicians Hour. Have a great day. Otherwise, I'll see you in a few minutes.